stop. You're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, Thunderbolts, the movie, the MCU movie, is not going to be boring. Uh, and I don't think they made a bad decision at giving everyone the same powers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's why. First of all, before I start, I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Uh, also, I do think they definitely could have put in more characters like Abomination or whatever. I think he would have been great in this movie. Maybe is he still in this movie? Probably not, but could he be? Sure, I think he actually kind of fits this movie pretty well. On the flip side, let's kind of get into what I'm talking about here. Um, first, I also just have to say, okay, uh, I'm not going to be talking too much, but I think I will acknowledge some Thunderbolts trailer leaks and maybe plot leaks in this video. I will let you know when they're happening. I cannot guarantee that it, it you're gonna be safe. Uh, but that's basically what's going on. I'm gonna be talking about those leaks a little bit, so here's what's going on. Um, just, let's just start at the beginning. Because here's what I said. I think that team is right. Uh, it's fine. So here's, like, a while ago, 2022, we got this picture, right? Uh, left to right, it goes, um, hopefully this is, I'm going to be left to right. Otherwise, you're just going to be so confused. I went Val, Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, you Val from, like, you know, Black Widow, Falcon Winter Soldier, uh, and Black Panther. Um, Red Guardian, Yelena Belova, um, Winter Soldier, U.S. Agent, Taskmaster. Okay, first of all, like, three of these are from the same movie. Black Widow 2, what? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't care too much. Um, and then two of them are from... Literally, the other two are from Falcon the Soldier. What is going on? Well, I think it's still cool. Hold on to me for that one. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's, you know what? Spoiler, spoiler, spoilers. Um, if, watch this movie, watch this video. If you don't want any spoilers, watch this movie when the trailer, watch this video when the movie's out. Or watch when the trailer is out. If you don't want to see a trailer, I'm sorry. Um, uh, basically, I just leak trailer. I don't usually see trailers or leak trailers, but this one just I really want to know: is this movie going to be good? I care about this movie because I didn't. I hated that picture too. And I think I like it. Here's why. Well, so we're talking about that leak trailer a little bit, um, and it's been leaked for lots of times that people have seen these trailers in conventions. They've seen Avengers Tower. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they would make like okay well, i don't know hold on i don't think let's go back to this trailer the trailer i'm not going to show you it but i think just don't think the costumes are the best uh taskmasters especially i think i do kind of get where it's going i think it's a little bit skull related uh and uh what's who was her name ghost the costume apparently i googled ghost marvel comics Okay, so this costume, I guess, is comic accurate, but I think sometimes when we are making movies and shows and stuff, we can choose to adapt the thing into something better. Um, is that costume really the best, especially when it looks so much like that Taskmaster one? Maybe that doesn't, there's an in-movie in lore for that, but it's just like, whatever. Um, I, I, but I, I can't argue with them too much because I see where they're going with both of them. But it just makes me frustrated, and I, I think you'll be frustrated too, because I think I made this video to tell you you're wrong, but I think you're going to wonder why, and you're going to have these beliefs that you don't like how the movie's going. I don't like how the movie's going either, man. These costumes are not the best. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Um, I'm not opposed to Red Guardian's costume. I think it looks like a nice upgrade for, like, the 2020s. Um, Yelena, like, I, I need her to get something, like, as far as costumes go, more widowy by the end of the movie, hopefully. Um, uh, plot point spoiler for this movie and set photo spoiler. Why is Bucky in Congress? Cool, I guess. And so he's not fighting with U.S. agent, but he's going to be with the U.S. agent. So what's going on? Um, I also, I want, I don't know, just give Bucky something cool to do. Travis, Travis said it was cool, but like he wasn't doing as much action. So we need to give him some action. All right. Um, and honestly... I'm kind of excited to see where U.S. Agent goes in the storyline. Like, sure, do I hate his character? Yeah, but I want to kind of see where he's going and I'm interested, okay? Sue me. Um, I don't know. Again, this doesn't seem like the right amount of character. It really doesn't. But I think I, I'm a little bit promised. 
Wait, what? I'm a little, I'm a little bit delusional. I, I have a theory and I'm really hoping that they stick to it because I think they can still stick to it. And I think this can still be a good movie. I'm telling you why right now. Um, first of all, it's literally September 2024. The movie comes out in like May. It starts in September. Okay, it comes out in, count with me guys, October, November, December, plus five months, eight months. It comes out in eight months. Um, they can still convince me and pull it off. Um, so I, let's take it back. You guys are definitely like, Ryan, where is your brain going? Well, here's the thing. Um, and hopefully your brain is going this way too. Well, first of all, you like this new setup? I'm in an apartment right now. Cool. Um, bad lineup. Okay. Um, these people were never barely in the Thunderbolts, um, in the comics. Okay. Who are the Thunderbolts? Okay. A person. I got introduced to the Thunderbolts in a very, very, very cool story. Uh, was it a kid's show? Yes. Were many people introduced to them in the set that way too? Yes. Did the storyline in the kid's show mirror the Thunderbolts introduction in the comics and their most popular storyline? Also, yes. So here's the deal. I'm going to talk about this storyline because, sure, it was in a, in a kid's show, but it's also like their most popular storyline. So why wouldn't you want to do that? And I think they might be doing it. Here's the thing. And this storyline basically starts off like, okay, um, sure. Uh, it's like either Norman Osborn or Zemo. I'm just going to say Norman Osborn leads these Thunderbolts. No, obviously I do not think we can get Norman Osborn here. Or maybe even Zemo. Zemo, possible, but I don't, just don't, I don't see it with these pictures we have right now. Anyways. Um, leads this team of bad guys, right? <clears throat> Anyways. And it's like, um, but the thing with these bad guys is they look like heroes. I think they call themselves the Thunderbolts. I forget why, but that's, uh, maybe Thunderbolt Ross is involved. Wouldn't make sense. I'll get to that later. Um, sorry for the squeaky chair. But, uh, it's just how it's going to go. Um, but like, and then because there are no good guys, so the, public likes these bad guys but they don't know they're bad guys they like the heroes the public likes the heroes they need heroes okay um then basically um the avengers take these bad guys down um they the, the, their team name was the thunderbolts and maybe and but they're at they were actually the masters of evil um and then eventually i think they go on to and then like norman osborn eventually goes on to create the dark avengers okay here we go this is my theory um we we're basically going to work with that storyline work with it um there are key concepts in that story where you have to remember just think about that okay we're gonna come back to that very soon um here's what i like about that story and we're getting there right now Step one, and these, listen, this stuff is very transferable to the MCU right now, so I think they can do it. Listen, listen, listen. Here's what's important and cool to that story. First of all, the public needs heroes and they don't have them. Where's the Avengers? I'll address that later if you have a stipulation about that. Currently, at least right now, no Avengers in the MCU. They got lots of heroes popping up, people talking, no Avengers, okay? Now, um, we have, um, next thing, bad guy shows up, looks like hero, public likes hero, hero acting in the name of the public, of the world, for humanity. Public loves the hero. Things go awry. Good guy, not actually good guy. Reveal is bad. Okay. Public knows now that they need a team of heroes. Who comes up? But the people that save them. Now. 
is this deconstructing the story at a huge level that really um, is not exactly the same way that I just told? No, but if you kind of like abstract the story I just told about these Thunderbolts, these bad team of bad guys, masters of evil. Um, I think we can get somewhere. Here's the thing. I was hoping, because I knew that story, I'm like, okay, you, you know it'd be so cool. Here was my idea, like, in like 2022, 2023. What if? Now I do not believe this story anymore, but yeah, it's really close. It's getting to where I want to talk about. What if? They make this whole team good guys. So then they can face their own masters of evil. M maybe the asterisk is there because these guys aren't the Thunderbolts at all. The actual Thunderbolts are the team disguising themselves as good guys. Lots of theories where this Thunderbolts thing can go. Um, what if... Um, and so we're going to talk about that in a few seconds if I can remember all these ideas that are popping through my head. Um, and then these people will actually be the heroes. Anyways, not a thousand percent sure I'm behind the idea, but it still seems cool. Here's why. So hold on. We have this problem. Okay, so... <sighs> Also, like, why is Bucky, just random thought, why is Bucky growing his hair out? I don't know, um, whatever, it, it can happen, sure, I guess. Um, you know, okay. Um, like, then, here's the next thing, it's like, everyone now is thinking that, and it is true, but only in recent years, maybe Marvel's sticking with it, you know? Thunderbolt recently was just anti-hero, so maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. I wouldn't like love that idea, but whatever. They can still call these teams the Thunderbolts. I hope not. Um, why is John Walker there? He wasn't redeemed. Yeah, I'm with you guys. Um, that's another question. Um, they did it with their slappy scares together. Yeah, sure. Because they, they here's my thing. I have an idea. Um, basically. Let's get to my theory. Um, here's my hope, is that everyone in that picture, that lineup, that team, is redeemed at least on screen right now. Um, we're like even like John Walker in the finale of Falcon with Soldier, like tried to save that boss, tried to save those people, was on the helping team. Was we'll he the biggest helper? If he's a great guy still technically underneath all this, I don't know. But I personally don't believe so. But he's redeemed on screen. He's redeemed in the public. Uh, kind of. Where he's, he's redeemed on screen to us. Does most of the world know that? Does most of the world see him as a killer? Yes. Most of the, like, the world views all these people as bad guys on this team. Um, the Avengers don't want them right now. The Avengers don't want them. Um, and here's the thing. And then we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so, Val needs a team. I have lots of Thunderbolts ideas right now. Okay, whoa. Um, these people need redemption. There's probably not even an Avengers team right now. Um, this movie works best if there is no Avengers team. Um, I'll talk about that in a moment. Sorry, I'm just, lots of ideas. Um, the world needs Avengers. The public is going to get a bad guys, bad guy, bad guys, I don't know, probably just one bad guy based on the leaks of plot and uh, leaked trailer we saw, but uh, bad guy, bad guys, looks like a good guy, good guys, um, public rallies behind them. This bad guy is, looks good, looks right, is doing great stuff. Um, 
this team um, needs redemption. They take down this person who they know is bad. Um, they save the day. Um, here's, here's some exceptions. I think things are going to go awry during the mission. Uh, these people are bound to fight and just fight and fight and fight. You know, we have John Walker next to, you know, like, th this team is, um, Winter Soldier, this team is bound for conflict, um, everywhere. Um, uh, you know, and I hope someone dies, actually, because it would show how much of a messy team this is. Um, someone's gonna get hurt. I don't think they're gonna work well together. They're gonna make some big mistakes. Maybe people outside the team are gonna die. They're gonna, like, end up killing people. And it's not going to be great. Um, are they going to kill too many people? Are they going to further pu the public's perception as, as bad guys? I think these are cool ideas to explore. This is, first of all, why I think you should like enjoy this movie. I think you should be interested in this movie because the public sees these guys as, as bad guys. These guys don't see themselves as bad guys. They want to be better. First of all, great concept for a movie sure it's been done a lot of times before but these are people that we know in the mcu I think that's fun um it's gonna get messy and i think you should also want to watch a movie for that you know how much are they gonna mess up how much are they gonna screw up in this movie um uh no matter how much they mess up i think bucky w is gonna be there for it um he's gonna talk to steve maybe elaine is gonna get recruited maybe someone else is gonna get recruited to the Avengers, uh, probably to Shalena, but we'll see. Um, I think this can be good. I think it can be fun. Um, here's some, just some stipulations to my master plan. Uh, it has been heard in a trailer or two that Thunderbolt Ross tells Sam in Brave New World, comes out three months before Thunderbolts. Basically, I want you to make an Avengers team, something like that, right? Um, first of all, like, okay, and first, Okay, does this happen? Um, hope is no, because I think this movie works good when there is no other team of heroes, and that the Thunderbolts are the only team of heroes. Um, that's the hope. I think it can still be fun without it, but here's the thing. So, um, because Sam didn't even want to be Captain America. Is he going to want to make an Avengers team? We'll see. Um, I don't know. Um, then, okay, here come the, because, like, okay, if there is an Avengers team, you know, like, and the public already has heroes, then the whole idea with the, my idea with, like, the need for a hero in this movie, and the Thunderbolts, and this other bad guy that we saw in this leaked trailer, that looks like a good guy, um, are gonna get like it's just not gonna those themes are not gonna be as persistent and the movie is just not gonna be as you know interesting uh can it still be interesting i don't know honestly um something else interesting is with this uh leaked um bad guy um spoilers if you know any comics lore uh should theoretically have a good addiction storyline and allegory in this plot I personally don't trust the MCU good enough to do it right. Um, so, um, I don't know, but I just thought I'd say that. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's really going to happen. I don't know how they're going to do that part in the MCU, uh, especially with the storyline. But whatever. Um, what else we have? Oh, what's that asterisk going on here? Okay, people are saying, let's run, run through a few theories. Okay. Are, uh, after this movie, are they going to be the Dark Avengers? Thunderbolts? Okay, yeah. Um, Dark Avengers. Could be. Could be. I like that theory. It's fun. It's cool. Whatever. Another theory. Um, what if for some reason the asterisk is there because asterisk... Because that team is at the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts is actually the other team. Like, the people that they're against. Um, and, like, like let's say, like, the Thunderbolts... Okay, like, Sam creates an Avengers. Here's what's probably going to happen. Sam creates an Avengers... Um, or, like, separate from Ross. Or Sam says no Avengers. Okay, Ross wants Avengers. Um, who can he... Like, no one wants to be an Avenger for him. For whatever reason that Sam doesn't want to work with him. 
anymore. Um, probably. Just a theory. Um, and then, okay, he needs his own team. He calls up Val. Probably, like, I think she was literally, could be if I'm wrong, like, Secretary of State, which is, like, or Department of Defense, which is, like, actually who you want to call when you want to make an emergency, like, politically. And, um... She makes this team because these people want to be heroes and nobody else wants to be heroes. Uh, and nobody, like, no one else is showing themselves. Anyway, so that's their Thunderbolt team. Oh, aren't they immune? That's, that's the boo, that's a boring answer. Thunderbolts could also be, oh, um, he recruits the actual bad guys, um, that look like good guys. So he thinks he's hiring the right people, um, like this, um, guy that gets powers, right? And that's a Thunderbolts, or maybe the Astro Suzer, because it is a one Thunderbolt. And then Val gets these people to go against Ross's Thunderbolt, Thunderbolts. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm just like... The Asterisk, they could make that be something like boring, or they could make that something cool. Maybe something cool where it's like, oh my gosh, it's really cool. Whoa, but they just did that thing. Or they could be like, asterisk just means like something boring. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I don't know. They, they, that is something that they could mess up for me. Um, they're already messing up the costumes. Um, they could make the storyline really boring. They, I think it has to connect to Brave New World, but that trailer looks so cool. I'm excited to see that. That's my thoughts. I just think there's reason to be excited for this movie if the plot is actually good. And it could be because it's parallels. Doesn't get close to, but parallels. Um, like a comic storyline that's pretty popular with Thunderbolts. So I don't know. I'm trying to have hope, man. That's basically what we got going. See ya.